Vecna of Stranger Things 4 is an interdimensional serial killer that we witness kill quite a few people in Hawkins, Indiana. He psychically searches for individuals meeting certain criteria, notably those who've experienced a traumatic past and feel tremendous guilt while being what he perceives as weak. Today we'll be looking at one of his victims, Fred Benson. Who is Fred Benson, you might ask? Well, he's the guy who helps Nancy on the Hawkins High School newspaper. He also has a traumatic event in his past, which he harbors a lot of guilt for, and we'll discover exactly what that is in this video. And how he gained Vecna's attention for Vecna to have Fred join him. Working on the Hawkins High School paper, The Weekly Streak, Fred Benson works alongside Nancy Wheeler, who he respects as a great journalist, also sharing her journalistic interests. Given how closely they work with one another, it is suspected that Fred has feelings for Nancy, especially once he starts questioning Jonathan's commitment and visiting her on spring break so that they could be together. He even refers to Nancy as the most desired girl in all of Hawkins High. While Nancy did hang out with the popular crowd and was desirable to some groups in the school, this could be more of Fred's perception of Nancy being the most desirable to him. Working on the paper is something that Fred enjoyed doing, but it also afforded him time to spend with Nancy. And so that's why he opted for the opportunity to investigate Chrissy's death once they found out about it in a news report and Nancy was so eager to investigate. It is on this field trip that we learn a lot more about Frederick Benson and his past. We learn about the scar that's on his face, how he got it, and what it means for him. Little did he know investigating Chrissy's death and murder would lead to the guilt of the murder he feels that he caused and the murder that would eventually be his own. At first glance, Fred Benson seems like the typical nerdy student, unsuspecting that Fred was hiding a troubled mental and emotional state. See, he'd be seeing a school counselor to better cope with his difficulty sleeping, his increasing nosebleeds and headaches, until going with Nancy to investigate Chrissy's murder. That's when the nightmares he'd been having became an all too real reality. You killed that kid last year. What? It, it was an accident. An accident? You're a murderer is what you are. Everyone here knows it. A murderer. Murderer. A murderer. A waking nightmare. Taunting him and teasing him. Haunting him about a murder he feels all too responsible for. It was a car accident that Fred was a part of. Fred made it out, whereas the other person, presumably the driver, did not. And he, Fred could have saved the kid, but out of fear and being paralyzed with uncertainty, Fred didn't know how to handle the situation, and so the kid actually ended up dying, begging for his help. So basically, Fred feels survivor's guilt. He feels responsible for this kid's death as if he's the one who murdered him, even though he did not. And so that's why when Fred sees the clock in the forest after being lured there by Vecna and the sounds of the clock, the clock t appears in a coffin. The coffin of the dead kid that he feels responsible for. And he feels that he's taken this person away from all the family and friends this kid had. And that's why in his visions all the people in the forest appear to be blaming him and taunting him also. <laughs> The scar from the car accident is a constant reminder to Fred of his guilt and feeling like he murdered that kid, and that's why we see it grow out of fear in this scene. So the grave that Fred falls into just before Vecna claims him is representing the grave he feels he sent that kid into. And that's what the dead body lying next to him is all about. And so there you have it. That's Fred's survivor's guilt, and that's what caught the attention of Vecna and brought Fred to be yet another victim 
joining Vecna. Don't get caught in a grave of guilt yourself. Feel free to like and subscribe to this channel and help support our channel and watch it grow and not be a victim of Vecna. Yes! Subscribe if you haven't already. Write epic songs about this Alt Shift Nerd channel. Paint portraits about Alt Shift Nerd and promote us in art galleries. You know you're dying too.